Hey, what's up guys? So this video is the extended vlog portion of the adventure that I took recently to the Shanghai Tunnels in Portland for the WTF5 on Shane's channel. So make sure to follow the link in the description down below to watch the rest of the world's most haunted tunnels and enjoy. And finally, number five is the Shanghai Tunnels. <laughs> Oh, I hate this so much. I really hate this. Okay, so the Shanghai Tunnels were a tunnel system built in Portland, Oregon sometime after the 1800s that were used primarily to transport goods from ships to the local businesses to avoid street traffic. And if you're wondering why the tunnels are called the Shanghai Tunnels since they're not, you know, actually in Shanghai, the reason is, is soon after the tunnels were built, they began to be used for kidnapping, prostitution, and Shanghaiing, which is the act of kidnapping people to become sailors. And because of its dark and sinister nature, it also became a hot spot to dispose of bodies or engage in other highly illegal activities. Drugs. And the reason I hate this so f***ing much is because I literally live in the same town. Ah! And yes, because I am a huge dumbass who likes to pay $13 to enter haunted tunnels, I recently ventured into the Shanghai tunnels to find out how haunted they really are. Apparently, uh, this is Old Town Pizza. This is actually one of the locations that some spooky underground Shanghai tunnel -y shit happens. But I think this is the place where there was actually an elevator. If you pan over right here, as the story goes, apparently there was a prostitute that died in this specific uh, elevator right here, right? Reports say that she was thrown down the elevator shaft after exchanging information for her freedom uh, to traveling missionaries looking to clean up the neighborhood. They say that Nina has never left. The end of the story is there's some dying prostitutes that happen right, right, right there, literally over, <laughs> right over there. You had plenty money, 1922. You let other women make a fool of you. Why okay, so they told us that we can't actually film in the tunnels, and that's kind of a bummer, but I totally respect why they don't want that. Basically what they told us in the full tour group, which is massive by the way, I think there's probably like 30 plus people, is that essentially the entire Shanghai Tunnels, like it is all the work of one guy. His life's work went into preserving this and having this experience be for everyone in Portland. So what you'll probably see during this is um, a few images and still footage that we get. We might be able to get a few, like, you know, of us going down into it or whatever, and um, yeah, I think just so that we respect their wishes, that's probably what we'll be doing. Pleasure you're about, and you feel like stepping out. Oh, you've got to shout it. So one of the ghosts that's down there is known as the Whistler, and according to the tour guide, had never been photographed ever before, so no one really knew if it was a man or a woman's spirit, only that you could hear a dark, disembodied whistle coming from the parts of the tunnel that we couldn't actually go to. There were also the spirits of children that would venture into the tunnel that were employed as slave labor for changing the chamber pots of the prisoners, and apparently some of them died down there and are still said to grab at your ankles while you're down there in the Shanghai tunnels. Well, we are finally out of that dark, gloomy pit of despair. So a couple things I actually learned in there, though. Um, one is that apparently the people that got shanghai were eaten. Eaten? <laughs> eaten alive! I believe that the whole Shanghai thing ended in like 1940, 1941. Yeah, around, so, World War II. yeah right around World War II. So around then, that's when all of this stopped. But, but until then, people were literally being eaten alive on ships. And uh, that was pretty crazy. The other thing that I learned is, obviously when I was talking about this before with the whole human trafficking thing and prostitution, um, they literally have a pamphlet about it still. I don't know if you can see this. They literally have a pamphlet still about the whole human trafficking thing because um, this is something I didn't know. Apparently Portland is still like number one or two or three in the United States for human trafficking. You didn't know that? I didn't, no. And that's, <laughs> wait, what the hell, why am I living here? Like every day, I'm finding more reasons for me not to live here. Like before when we went to the Oregon State Hospital, I was like, why do I live here? And then now, yeah, no, I, I'm, I'm moving. All right, see you guys, see you guys <laughs> later. It's been really nice knowing every one of you. I'm going. I think probably the creepiest thing for me personally being down in there, there was one fucking chick down there who was alive. <laughs> she wasn't dead, so it's not she like a, a spirit or anything. Too. Yeah, And she was just really fucking creepy the entire yeah, time. Like really weird, just staring at 
everyone. Everyone, like, I, of, everyone us, like, of us, you know, and we weren't doing anything like a disruptive or anything, but she was just literally fucking staring at us the entire time. Yeah, no, like for real. And here. let's let's try oh, to get here. that. Let's see if we can get it on. I Dude. mean, that's like a candid show. Like she didn't pose yeah. for that. She was just being yeah. between each room. And that was all the fucking time in there. It wasn't yeah. just, oh, we got this one was shot. Like, she was staring the fucking whole time. Let's show Vic. Look at this shit. 